Hi there, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. So, as you can see, cards are already out. That means one thing. Um, had some trouble recording this video. This is the fourth time lucky. So, first time the video just didn't work properly. Second time I had an Amazon delivery. Third time I was literally just about to finish and got a phone call right in the middle of it. So that's the danger of using your phone, isn't it, for these things. Um, so... Without further ado, I've left the cards out because, you know, I had shuffled them and I'd pulled them. So, excuse me, I'm just having a little sip of my tea. So, I wanted to keep the same cards, really, because um, I just feel like if we've pulled them once, then they're the cards we're meant to have. So, first card that I've drawn is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is talking about um, being in a period of swift change we've had this swift change come in and I think if I look back over the last few months uh, well the last month's worth of um, these videos weekly cards is I think we've had a lot of swords cards energy haven't we so you know the, I think we've had him before as well the knight of swords this swift change that has come in um, so yeah just being in that energy where everything changes it was unexpected and that's where we all are um, I'm in the UK, as you know, and we are probably about three weeks into lockdown now. Um, so, you know, we are getting through the weeks, but this has all changed very quickly and everything changed. And it was almost overnight, you know, one week we were able to go here, there and everywhere. And the next week, boom, really not. So... You know, it's it's been a, a massive change and we are all adjusting to that. What that Knight of Swords talks about to me, though, is to remember to keep up on those communications, talk to people. The Swords cards, thinking cards, um, but they're also communication cards. So keep that communication going. Use the technology, you know, use your texts, use your phone, use your instant messaging, use your FaceTime. All of those sort of things. Um can be a really great way of keeping in touch with people your family your friends the people that you're not allowed to see um at the moment and you know it's tough for people when they are um you know not allowed to see people that they would quite like to be seeing but you know what we've got to put the um needs of others above that kind of desire to just kind of go and see your boyfriend or um, whoever it is that you fancy spending time with you know we just got to be sensible really and and do what we're told and stay indoors um, because that way we can protect people and save lives and also we can protect the NHS which is already sort of stretched as far as it can be so you know don't want to be all preachy but stay at home um, so you know be in that place where you're using the communication skills to keep yourself in touch with with people. Um, we also have the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords is um, really quite dramatic in the text of Tara. You can see she is in pain, this girl. You know, she's got a barbed wire around her legs. She feels constrained. She feels trapped. Um, she has a blindfold, so she can't see where she's going. And the Eight of Swords talks about that. Um, it talks about that feeling of pain of being in this painful situation that you can't get out of but actually you kind of can get out of it because what the um eight of swords talks about is thought processes and it's talking about you being in the mindset of being trapped rather than physically trapped we are all obviously physically constrained at the moment but that doesn't stop us using our imagination. It doesn't stop us watching videos of our favourite vloggers who have been travelling all over the place and, and, you know, have put up vlogs from recently. Um, it doesn't stop us from learning a new subject. It doesn't stop us from um, expanding our mind in other ways. Because, you know, because we can't go out, it doesn't stop us using our imagination. You, know, you can go wherever you like in your imagination, can't you? So... It's asking you that eight of swords to um, not let your mind just keep you trapped. Let your mind um, let your mind go on some adventures rather than going on a worrying streak. Um, send your mind on an adventure to somewhere that you'd really like to go. 
um, instead. You know, use guided visualization, use meditation, all of those things are brilliant for you freeing your mind to go and do um, things in your imagination, I guess. Um, it's also, I think, when I look at that, because that's quite graphic, that card. Um, to me, the Eight of Swords does talk about some time for healing. So, you know, we have got this time now um, to be on our own or to be kind of just um, with the people that we're, that we're living with. And we can use that time wisely and we can use that time to heal. So, again, meditations and things like that to really just help you kind of get in touch with your any pain that you have, any healing that you might want to do. Um, it's a really, really good time for doing that. So I'm just going to have a little shuffle of Brian's deck and see what we've got going on. But yeah, these swords cards are coming up a lot at the moment. Um, so, you know, bear with the energy of the swords cards because they do pass as well and you know this people freak out about the swords cards but they they are valuable because they do cut to the chase um they do ask you to look at your thought processes um so don't be afraid to look at your thought processes it might really help but let's have a little look and see what brian's got to say okay so brian on the other hand is optimistic so our energy for this week with the tarot is very much about thought processes and um embracing change and using our thoughts to heal us ourselves and also i don't mean physical healing um but to heal our kind of emotions and all of that sort of stuff and use our um imaginations to to not feel so trapped um and brian is kind of saying that it's showtime so when brian's showtime comes up for me it kind of talks about um being able to really be yourself and to kind of just yeah you know celebrate yourself be on show i mean we're not out on show are we in the real world we're not out on show but we can use this time to really embrace our own energy and show our true selves to ourselves. Because um, quite often what we do is we're so obsessed with, you know, what does this person think? What does that person think? How do I appear to this person? How do I appear to that person? When actually we're not considering how we're appearing to ourselves, how we're feeling for ourselves. Sorry, I'm just having a little swig of my tea. So, yeah, I think Brian fabulous because he is just asking us to really start um stepping into our power i guess um you know against a difficult background can still step into our power can't we so i hope that has helped sorry about the um four attempts um and this might seem a little bit rushed but i have already i've said all this stuff three or four times now so i'm probably kind of rushing through it a little bit and i apologize for that um if you have liked the video though please give it a thumbs up and um like it and share it and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of thing i'm um, gonna do my best to get the um unboxings done this week um but just ran out of time again last week i've been really busy which i am extremely grateful for um because that helps me to deal with things you know if i've got things going on and i'm working and i'm love my work so I, you know it's all good um it helps me a lot to um just pass the time and not to feel quite so constricted by all of this stuff that's going on um i will leave that with you thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time